By the way, there is also... I don't care. You can stop now. There is also space elves. <sighs> space elves live in a different dimension from our world, like the grim dark future or urban cyber dystopias. But remember, they're completely different from normal elves and shouldn't be treated as the same. This is a typical J.R.R. Tolkien Dungeon and Dragon Fantasy Elf. They mainly use bow and arrow, absorb the power of nature, and store it in, uh, their mana reserves. And here is an orc that accompanies her. He's the muscle and a plaything. And here is the Warhammer 40k sci-fi elf, where they apply high-tech nonsense to their bow and arrow. Their psychic power is just like our magic, but it's mostly limited to telekinesis. Besides that, their clothing is somewhat like most elves. I guess even in the future, our ultimate goals still haven't changed. I almost forgot. Sometimes they will have a cyborg along with them to act as heavy artillery, a meat shield, and, you guessed it, a plaything. I hope my elf explanation or elf planation was helpful. Deciding on the types of elves you want is always the hardest part of adventure planning. Ideally, your harem party should be composed of at least 90% female elves. So, besides me, we should recruit eight other elves, just to be safe. Hey, kid, there's a tavern ahead. We should stay there for the night. Dwarf party, yep. Can't get any better than this. <laughs>